Mr. President, we now move to the uh, next uh, uh, question two, asked by the leader of the opposition. On a point of order, Sorry? On a point of order a speaker. Oh, yeah. speaker. Oh, my, sorry, my apologies. Oh, uh, my apologies, Honorable Shivambo, it's your turn. Go ahead. It was not a mistake, it was deliberate. Uh, the, the question you are responding to now, first then. Honorable Shivambo, if it's deliberate, then you don't proceed. You don't talk. That's the rule. You will not talk. You are not the president of the country, man. With the government I'm logo, I'm no, the no, you you won't speak. Like you no, you won't speak. You stop behaving like you are drunk. No, I'm you won't. No, no, no. honorable Shivambo, this subject. This, this rules, you are yourself. This rules I were approved upon. We are noting yes, what you are saying, and yes, we are going to check these yes, remarks you are yes. making. And you are not going well, to speak if you don't change that thing deliberately. You, you tell in the house you deliberately down. breaking the rule, there's no way you will be allowed to speak. No way. No, no. You have to throw me out of the house. No, no. Honorable members, we made a ruling on this matter yesterday. It will not be changed by the methods you are using. No. You are out of order, Chief. No, I'm not out of, out of order. I'm enforcing the rules that you are out of order. Jesus is out of order. Out of order. Out of order. Of order. He always does. Who is Jesus? He thinks he's a clown. You are the clown. I must. No, we are listening to you. And this is a recorded session of Parliament, and we will act against you. We will not allow anybody to speak here. Neither are we going to your mercy either. No, no. Stop being disrespectful. Yes, yes. Uh, you, yes, yes, you stop uh, being disrespectful. Is you honorable members, we are it here is wrong. We're not here in your favor. It is we're wrong for here. you to do what you are doing. You are not, not going to be allowed to do it. Some emotional. Can I, can I proceed with the question? Yes, on condition you know what you must do. You know the condition, what sir. What do? What should I do? You have got me on the you channel. Switch, you uh, what I you do? switch off. Uh, you put it on. You had it on. You put it on. The background. You do it. But the Buddhist speaker. My background. When... All your people were, were speaking with a different background. They were never ordered to do so. No. Why are hey, you. But who is this person who screams like one? Yes, when you're talking about it. Why are you with a different background? You didn't. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you keep quiet. You let Stop me your nonsense. You, you keep quiet. Go and sleep. Uh, uh, you are sleeping. Honorable Shibambo, proceed. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm advised. Huh? The question is in two parts. The question that you are responding to is in two parts. One is in relation to the sovereign economy, and two is in relation to the free trade ag agreement, the African free trade agreement. And predictably, your response, you say you're going to call another symposium. That is what you did when we, you had the coup d'etat on Jacob Zuma in 2018. You did see the symposiums, got lots of commitments on growth and uh, and, and investments. Your friends, the white capitalist establishment, committed to grow the sovereign economy. But since you are in office, South Africa's economy has grown by less than 0.2%, which is the worst since the global economic crisis. And, and there seems to be nothing. You are saying now that post COVID, we're going to start localizing. And that is a commitment you made when you first locked down South Africa. Why not now? The last question that I want to deal with is that noting the fact that the economy in the entire African continent is owned and controlled by the colonial descendants, and the descendants of colonial settlers. And is, is in this free trade agreement going to be a free trade of Honorable colonialists member, your term and is now expired. the Chinese without any African ownership of the economy? Your term in terms has expired. Of that, your term has expired. To do that. Your time has expired. Honorable President. been saying that we need to localize. But 
that the post-COVID situation is going to add impetus to precisely that. We have been able to see how we can get, firstly, our industrialists, our own industrialists, to live up to coming into the economy, becoming real industrialists, becoming manufacturers. I have seen, Honorable Chibambu, for myself, how a number of black industrialists are taking various opportunities that COVID-19 is presenting to them. They are making some of the goods that are now needed right here in our own country. They are making the masks. They are making the PPEs. And they now are going to be moving forward to even making the test kits. And many of them are black industrialists. And we need to welcome this. And over time, they will start having economies of scale as to be able also to export. Later today, we are going to be launching a platform for the African continent, where we are going to be able to get all countries on the African continent to buy diagnostic and therapeutic medical supplies. Admittedly, quite a number of them come from other countries. But interestingly, a number of those supplies are going to be supplied by African manufacturers, right from Egypt, right through down to the South. And they are going to be part of this platform. They are going to be selling to the entire continent various supplies. And this is what COVID-19 is presenting to the continent as a silver lining. A number of African, 100% owned African entities on the African continent are coming to the fore. They're going to be part of the Africa Free Trade Area Agreement. And they are now going to also participate in this platform for medical supplies that we are going to set up. So we are seeing, we are seeing the positive side. And what we are also saying is that we need to be encouraging, supporting, and the state needs to be assisting and giving incentives and giving support, both financial and otherwise, to these, in our own country, black industrialists, as many as possible, to help grow the economy of our country. And yes, the economic growth of our country has been tapering down for some time. And what we have been doing is to do everything we can to reposition our economy so that we can begin to accede to higher levels of growth. But post-COVID-19 is going to give us even a greater opportunity to be able to do so. So I am, I am optimistic. I am not pessimistic like some people are. I am very optimistic. And I think that we do have an opportunity, and these are opportunities that we must yield. And if there ever was a time for us to be able to bring in more and more black people into the industrial base, the manufacturing base, this is the time that we need to utilize. And that is why we are saying the restructuring of our economy is a moment that we now need to grasp. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The second question Deputy is... Speaker. Deputy uh, Speaker, may I write the point of order? Uh, what's the point of order? Deputy Speaker, Honorable Shivambo, said that the president led a coup d'etat against former president Jacob Zuma. Mm. That is correct. There was no coup d'etat. And I request that in terms of our rules, you should withdraw the statement. Uh, honorable members, we'll look at it and we'll uh, come back on that matter.
We'll make a ruling. And I was not going to withdraw. Honorable uh, 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 leader of the opposition asked the next question.